Hello everybody, I am that one punk, and today I am bored as all hell, so I'm gonna do something I don't really want to do, but I thought we'd make a fun little video. Today we are looking at Urban Spook. I don't really know much about Urban Spook. I've heard things. Um, I don't know. I've heard it's bad. But he also has 84,000 subs, so you know, must be good. He has merch. He has merch. I'm going to sit through all this and see what all the hubbub is about. You're gonna get my live reaction. Hope it's funny. I don't know if it will be. But let's get started. Our first video is Faces. Six months ago, police found three paintings stored away in an abandoned storage area, each titled after recent murders. First victim was Carla Gray, found with 36 stab wounds to the face and all her teeth removed. That's crazy. On the back of the first painting, the title Carla's Teeth was written. Okay, okay, okay. This is the painting. What the f- <laughs> What is this? What is this? One of the things I heard about this series was how good the art was. What is this? <laughs> Second victim was Jackie Graham, found drowned with 27 stab wounds in the pernium. That's the taint. She was alive during the stabbing. Her painting is titled Floating Jackie. This is the painting. That's better. That's a better painting. I like that. That's a that's a good one. That's a good one. Let's see, let's see. What's going on next? Last victim was James Miller, found with his face torn off and his wrist slit open. Autopsy showed that James was alive for several days without a face. Can you Can you determine that from an autopsy? Is that a thing you can do? medical world is crazy. The third painting was named James Secret Face. This is the painting. <laughs> it's a good painting. Um, but I don't know. Something about it's weird. It's not really scary. It looks more goofy than anything. It looks like it would have bad to the bone. Yeah, two months later, several more paintings were discovered, however... Hold on. Several more paintings was discovered. That's... Bad grammar. I... You know, whatever. However, the titles of these paintings did not seem to be connected to any known cases at the time. Here are the other paintings and their titles. Let's go. Wax Doll Tom. Interesting. I really have Lisa's secret face. Another one. Hanging Jimmy. That's Fuck Toy Corey. Daniel After the Fire. Jennifer's Last Stare. Scream Maggie Scream. After going public with the case and sharing the paintings in hope of saving anyone that might be depicted, the police received three photos in the mail, all of them also titled. The photos appear to depict the victims James Miller, Jackie Graham, and Jimmy. James, dope, let's go. Jackie, she don't look too good. Jimmy, Jimmy's going fuck, he's the one. <laughs> if anyone knows anything about these photos or paintings, please contact 985455. Will anything happen if I call that number? Will anything? I won't. I want to call the number, but I feel like it's just going to be his actual phone number, and I don't want to... <laughs> Welcome to Verizon Wireless. Your call cannot be completed as dialed. Please check the number and Boo. dial again. Boo. Boo. Nothing. If you're gonna... Include a phone number. At least do something cool with it. Give me, like, a like an automated voicemail or something. That'd be fucking sick. I don't know. Maybe I'm asking too much. Let's keep going, baby! One final painting titled Self Portrait was found two days ago. This is the painting. That's a 
a really good painting. Something about that is really like fucked. That's really good. Even if I end up not liking this series, I really like this dude's artwork. It's really something. Keep staring at me. That's uh that's it for the first video. It's simple. It was very simple. I can get with that. Let's uh let's go to the next one. Let's see. This one's called the lighthouse. It's Four weeks ago, a police officer named Bill Collins went missing along with his wife and two daughters. Why does he look like that? He looks strange. He looks like he's the murderer. I'd, if that's the twist, I'm going crazy. Bill had previously discovered this painting in his home, clueless to how it could have ended up there. I'd be pretty fucked if that painting... You don't gotta do that. that I see it. It's alright. While searching Bill's house, the police found one of his daughters hanging by the neck from the ceiling in the attic. Crazy. She was only two months old. Didn't, didn't need that information. That's, uh, that's all right. You don't. Who's, hold on, I didn't check the description of the previous video. I probably should have done that. What's this one say? I just started converting VHS tapes to digital, and I found a bunch of tapes in the basement of my apartment complex. This is the second one I've digitalized. I imagine the first one is just the same thing. I'm not worried about like who who's distributing these tapes because if I'm understanding the, the the story that's being told here uh, so far from from the first video it doesn't really matter who uh, uploading these tapes right like that's not really uh, a problem but these tapes because the last one had a phone number which makes me think that this is the police making these tapes and that's funny <laughs> if the police are making these tapes first of all that's a lot of uh, resources going to editing which is very funny to me just <laughs> it's just some <laughs> fucking poor beat cop Punched over his VHS player, hitting stop and start, editing all this shit together. <laughs> and also, if it's the police, they wouldn't say she was only two months old. If it said they found his two-month-old daughter hanging by the neck, you know, I could believe that, because that's just stating factual evidence, right? That's what police do. When you read police reports, it's all factual and as logical as possible. That way you don't get emotionally attached to the case, right? This is emotionally attached, so that makes me think the police aren't making these. But if that's not who, maybe, maybe I'll get an answer. I don't know. Figure it out. Uh, the Collins family's car was found 12 days later by the ocean side. In the car, the police found a painting titled Long Necked Angel. Angel was indeed the name of the youngest daughter found in the attic. Crazy. Long necked angel. Yep, there it is. The search would lead to an old lighthouse standing just a few miles away from the abandoned car. The lighthouse hadn't been in use for several years. That's crazy. On the door to the lighthouse, an abstract face was painted in red. Let's see it. Show it. Show it. Show it to me. Show it to me. Show it to me. Show it to me. This is the painting. That's. I don't know how I... I don't know. That's something. That's, that's alright. Inside, the charred corpse of a missing teenager named Daniel Williams was found. So I imagine that's the, that's the painting. Daniel after the fire. Police later proceeded into the tunnels under the lighthouse. Here, the police would find two more corpses belonging to Jennifer White and her daughter Lisa White. They had been missing for seven months. Lastly, the police found a moist barrel emitting a foul stench. Been there. The barrel was filled with mangled meat and bones. Tests later showed that belonged to the rest of the Collins family. That's crazy. 
The test also showed extreme volumes of amphetamine. Hey, <laughs> they were partying. Let's go. Photos of the Collins family moments before death was found were found. Yet another, you know, here are the photos. That's shit. That's also shit. That sucks. <laughs> Lastly, there is a fourth photo depicting an unknown face. Hey, what's good? What's good? What's good? That's it. That. Uh, <laughs> that was it. That was it. No, no, no phone number. No nothing. What? Uh, I didn't, uh. Didn't like that one as much. Didn't, uh. It felt. Like. I don't know. It didn't feel right. The. I. The painting so far, you can tell that whoever's painting them has. immense talent. Like, it's crazy. But. The. The photos. The fucking. The pictures are goofy. It's it's, it's not right when because like it, when you watch the Mandela catalog, right? You have a basis of reality. You have normal people and then the um, alternates, right? So it's easy to discern the um, absurd from the normal. Here, the only semblance of normal you have is this text and the photos are just as wacky as the painting so it doesn't really do nothing um i don't know next we have in the walls with this uh this nice little boy right here well uh let's see let's see what's going on 10 days ago the big twins went missing that's crazy i'm tired of this music by the way this music is fucking annoying uh, five days later, their bodies were discovered inside an abandoned paper mill factory. It's wild. However, the state of the bodies were found in a gruesome condition. How gruesome was it? Only the upper body of Margaret and the lower body of Corey could be located. Okay. D Fuck off. <laughs> That's so funny. You uh, <laughs> You expect me to take that seriously? You expect me to be scared by that? That's fucking hilarious. It, that's fucking funny. I don't give a fuck. That's awesome. That's, that's funny. <laughs> well, let's see. The rest of their bodies have still not been found. Probably, why don't you sell those two halves together? Fucker. Wasteful. Margaret's neck and jaw was broken in several places. Again, that should be were, if, I'm, if my grammar is correct, but whatever. A clay brick had violently been shoved down her throat. You can't... I don't know if that's possible, but I don't know. The word meat had been written on the brick. Alright. Corey's genitalia had been removed by pooling force. Uh-huh. One week before their disappearance, Corey had been dared by two of his friends to spend an hour in a remote cabin. Hold on a second. There was... In the, in the first episode, there's a painting called Fuck Toy Corey. That's... You know what? I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it a chance, all right? Because I personally believe you can have um, extreme stuff like that work in a, in a in a horror setting. One of one of, if not my favorite Stephen King books, is The Outsider. Fuck you, fight me. Um, and that starts with the brutal sodomization and murder of a young boy, right? 
and it's gross and it's disgusting, but that's the point. It's so gross and disgusting that it kicks off the events of the entire book, right? It has a purpose. I don't know if this will have a real purpose in the overarching story that's being built here. Because if you just... If all you did was just say that this tiny boy was abused in this manner for no reason other than shock factor, uh, fuck you. That is an awful thing to do. Like, right now I'm reading a book uh, called Haunted by uh, Chuck Palahniuk. I think that's how you say his name. And it is extreme horror, right? It's, it's gross and disgusting, and that's the point. You know, it, it serves the overarching story, which is a parody of reality television, right? That's the point. If I go to the next video, the next couple videos, and they don't mention Corey again, it has no overarching plot significance, I'm going to be mad. I will be mad. Let's, uh, how do I... I do, what, I do, but, but. See what's happening here. Allegedly, Corey went inside alone with his digital camera while his friends waited outside. After just four minutes, Corey ran out, screaming that he had seen a face. According to his friends, Corey's left arm was badly bruised. While investigating the cabin, police found a wardrobe connected to a crawl space inside the walls. That's crazy. Corey's camera was found on the floor inside this open wall cavity. This what was on the camera. Nice. Nice. This guy's a... a, a Corey's a fucking genius with a camera. Let's fucking go. You love to see it. Oh, the composition here. Mm. Oh, I love it. Yep. There he is. You know, like... That's good. That's a scary fucking face. Like, if I just saw this shit in the dark, I, it'd be over. I'd be, I'd be dead. Like, that's good. That's good. That looks good. That's scary. This face is believed to be connected to the disappearance of Corey and Margaret Beck. Was that... Was that the same guy from the last picture? It didn't look the same. Are there two killers? Is that a... Is that what we're getting at here? Are there two killers? If that's the case, that's a... It's an interesting idea. Alright, let's uh... Yeah, alright. I am not a fan of that of it, if the whole Cory thing um, doesn't make any sort of um, plot significance I it, not good bad uh, we'll go on to the next one the clue let's go private investigator Sean Kane have been have been You know, proofreading is pretty cool. The last body he found before his disappearance was the body of Tom Harris. I'm gonna turn this down, because this music is fucking annoying me. The killer climbed the drain pipe up to the third floor and entered Tom's apartment through his bedroom window. How do you know that? How do you know that? In the living room is a pile of hardened candle wax. It was I see it. Yep, uh, I got it. Inside this pile of wax was the body of Tom Harris. The cause of death was suffocation from the wax. You, uh, mm, that's stupid. Tom's arms and eyelids have been cut off. Okay. Uh, 
Third arm could be found inside the pile of wax. That's crazy. That's wild. We still do not know who belongs. Who's we? Who are you? <laughs> I don't know who you are. Are you the police? Are you some dude? Are you the killer? That'd be a crazy twist if this was the kid. Oh. That'd be a shit twist, but at least something would happen. <laughs> Tom Harris. There he is. That's, uh. That's bad. One week later, investigator Sean went missing from his home. That's crazy. Neighbors of Sean notified police after hearing his dog bark for over nine hours. That's a long time for a dog to bark. I don't think inside police found a horrid scene. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? His dog's legs had all been broken. Although dehydrated and suffering, she was still alive. Good. Don't kill the dog. I had no respect for you if you killed the dog. Blood trails could be found leading from the bedroom to the kitchen. Uh huh. I got. It. Don't need to be. Don't. Yeah, okay. The only clue police could find was that Sean seemed to have deliberately painted the number two on the door frame with his own blood. So there are two killers. That's what I'm gonna get from that. There are two killers. That is something. Inside Sean's bedroom, police found a new title painting clearly resembling Sean. This is the painting and its title. Man in the pipes. Why he? <laughs> Why is he looking at me like that? Why is this sly motherfucker? <laughs> Sin. Sin City was Mavia. That's a dumbass painting, bro. That's. <laughs> Why is he looking at me like that? <laughs> the perpetrator had entered Sean's house through the basement. Luckily, Sean had surveillance camera installed just a few days earlier. <laughs> Even though the camera had been destroyed, it still caught a photo of the perpetrator. It's gonna be another shit photo, isn't it? This is the photo. Yep, let's go. Let's see it. It's It doesn't like Is this his Is this his mouth Right his mouth is this big but his teeth are only here? Is that deliberate or am I I might just I don't know. This this is an alright photo. I can sorry. Didn't need to be that long. I saw the photo. If the police are making this, did they. Are they doing stuff for dramatic effects? <laughs> Is that a thing? <laughs> if, that's, if that's the case, that's funny as shit. If they're like adding these long ass pauses for dramatic effect. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> Alright. Um, that was stupid. The candle wax thing was fucking stupid. The third arm had no. I. I. Didn't, I'm not like. It. Also, didn't mention Corey again. So, did I'll give it one more chance to make Corey an integral part to this. Let's see. Let's see what's going on next. Three days ago, Tina Rosenberg was reported missing along with her boyfriend and younger sister. There's no music going on this time, that's crazy. Her boyfriend, Jack Stryker, wanted to take Tina on a South Coast road trip for her 20th birthday. He looks like, uh, Billy Corgan. Flora Rosenberg, the younger sister of Tina, was also invited for this road trip. How young is she? That's, a, that's gonna be an important question here in a second. How old are all these people? I, I got it. 
Jack's car was found two days ago in the woods. There were signs of struggle inside the car. Ooh. There was also a painting. Of course there was. Why wouldn't there be? This is the painting. Flower face flora. It's, um... I don't... I don't like that one. It's too, uh... I mean, it's too cartoony. I don't know. Something about... These paintings, like, they're good. But they sh they're a little too cartoony for their own good, so it doesn't really add to the horror like it should. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. Let's uh, let's keep going here. Also, still no music, so I'm expecting a jump scare of some kind. While searching the car, police heard screaming from deeper within the woods. Police followed the screams until they found a grisly sight. Grisly. Tina was found tied to a tree with her feet and arms cut off. She was still alive and conscious. That's a lot of blood to lose. Still be alive and conscious. The mutilated corpse of Flora Rosenberg could also be located. Again, I'm pretty sure that's a child. Her head had been smashed in with a hammer. Alright. Didn't... Didn't really need a, a visual. That's alright. No, I got it. Yep. Tina told police that the murderer was still around somewhere, however, no one could be found. Again, a lot of blood to lose for Tina to be completely conscious and speaking. After escorting Tina from the scene, the police returned to the car and found another painting. Come on, fucker, paints quick. The painting had just been put there. The title Long Jack had hastily been written on its back. This is the painting. That's another shit painting. Don't like that one. Don't really like it. Jack has still not been found. Crazy. Crazy. In Tina's own words, this is what happened that night. Let's see, let's see, let's see. What's Tina got to say? I remember waking up in the car. Jack was gone and I could hear someone approaching. Next thing I remember I was tied to that tree. I was injected with something. I could hear my sister screaming. She was screaming for our mom. Oh, Flora. I don't know. I remember whispering. Are you whispering or someone whispering? And her face. Or lack thereof. <laughs> Bad taste, sorry. My bad. This is a police sketch of the murderer based on Tina's description. Let's see it. Let's see it. That's a crazy looking dude. I've seen this dude behind a 7 Eleven once. He was. He was fucked. <laughs> I, you don't need to hold on to that. He's got a butt chin, bro. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's it. That's... Alright. Um, is something going to happen at some point? Because I'm just fucking bored <laughs> like I don't this is boring I don't want to keep doing this 
This <laughs> is so boring. Uh, pigs. This one's about cops. Wah! <laughs> Former police officer Ian Ford and his wife May was recently reported missing. Were it's still two whatever. When police went to their farm to investigate, they found an awful stench coming from the barn. No fucking way, dude. Inside, they found the brutalized corpse of May Ford. She had been handcuffed to a pole inside one of the stalls. However, her hands had been ripped right off. Look at them. They're right there. There, there they are. There he is. Even though her body had been badly mangled, Tess showed that she died from internal bleeding. A dead horse could be found within the stall. The cause of death was due to a sitting sit in the fall. What's. Sildin. <laughs> what the fuck they gave <laughs> You want me to take this seriously? You are not... You are not... Are they... Saying... That they pumped the horse with Viagra... And had the horse fuck her to death? Is that what I'm seeing? Is that what I'm... This can't be real. This can't... That's... You can't be serious about this. That is... That's so funny. That's so funny. That's not scary. That's really, really funny. Yeah, I got it. This fucking music is, uh... Okay. Yep, I got it. Can this music fucking shut up? This is so fucking annoying. <laughs> okay. Uh huh. That's a, a lot of person fit in one pig. Plus it's another kid, because of course it's another kid, because that's spooky. No, they fucking were not. <laughs> you want me to take this seriously? You. You. <laughs> this is a troll. This is a troll. There's no way this is fucking real. That's... <laughs> Oh my god, this isn't oh this isn't scary at all, this is funny as shit. Oh my god. 
This painting is a fix feeling in an anime along the line around and these images may be very distressing. I know, I've watched the rest I I got it. I'm good. Let's go. Let's go. Here are the paintings and the titles. Yep, yep, just like every other video. Let's get it going. Come on. Show me them paintings, baby. Yep. 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 Zeke, you stole that. Then he, it, it, that's a. I could be wrong. Fact check me, please. Pretty sure that's the title of a uh, chapter from a total drama AU. Uh, whatever. Mhm. Mm I got it. Yep. That flesh head Fred. Tina, the witness. Ooh, baby. Observing Paul. He's observing, alright. Hey, if, if you up observing your Paul, leave a like on this video. <laughs> the heavily damaged shape was found on the inside of the point. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Ooh, 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 ooh. I see it coming. I see it coming. Ooh, ooh. Give it to me. Yep. Yeah, that name, yep. I'm gonna go back into that. Um, let me see here. Where are those, uh, those paintings? This one. This one. There's no... There's, like, no overarching story to justify this. To have a dead baby in this gruesome of a fashion. There's no overarching plot that makes me think this is okay. Because the police aren't doing anything. I don't even know if they're making these tapes. They could just be finding these pains and go, oh, shucks. Missed them again. <laughs> Sucks. Why did I choose to do this? My eyes. You don't say. You don't say. This is so fucking boring. I have no idea. <laughs> Zeke, was good Zeke. You were you were the hide and seek guy, weren't you? Just a few moments, months, not moments. That'd be crazy if they were just they knew the time. Is that Johnny Sins in the? So it's not the police making these tapes, then. That's Johnny Sins. You can't convince me that's not Johnny Sins. <laughs> What's the point? To shock me? Because I'm not shocked. I'm fucking bored. Oh, it's observing Paul. 
if you're up observing your point. <laughs> it sucks. I hate this. This is so bad. What's the point? There has to be more to the story to justify this shit. Like, this is... This is just insane. Pipes. Pipes. This is the painting. We'll see it. There he is. There he is! That's that's the guy. That ain't Paul. Paul Paul ain't observing like that. <sighs> They're too late for fucking everything, dog. Bruce Jackson. Infinite Ma Bruce. This is the painting. This is the painting. There it is. There it is. There he is. There he is. That's a bad painting. I, that sucks. You know, it would be cool if, like, something happened. Just saying. I live where I can't breathe and I eat without teeth. What am I? It's the fucking... I'm being murdered by the Riddler! <laughs> it's been a Batman story the whole time. <laughs> I figured that out ages ago. The police just found out. There are so many clues telling you this. You just found this out. Are we actually gonna get are we actually gonna get to listen to something? Where was that? That was good. What? Where was this? I sat through all this. All this.
this is the best one because it was different. Something happened. It wasn't just music and a black background and white text and spooky photos. Something. The acting in that was amazing. Where has this been? Why wasn't this the second fucking video? Get rid of the fetus shit. That's something I never thought I'd say. Get rid of the whole fetus angle. Just do the call. It... He obviously has something here. But it's just not good. Alright, last one. The last one is called Meat. Uh, to preface, I have seen this one. Um, it was recommended to me. Uh, through YouTube's auto recommend, so I did watch it uh, beforehand. This one's age restricted. That's crazy. Um, so I do know what happens in this one, but I'll still give you uh, my live reaction the best I can. Cause you're not stopping it. You're just sitting on your ass making these tapes. Fred was a fucking loser, apparently. Shit. Bet they were. Bet they were. Stealing Viagra, it seems. Can't get it up, eh? Ha <laughs> It's, uh... Yep. Mm-hmm. They sanded his skin off? Really, you don't say. That's crazy. We've we'll never guessed a fucking thing. Never guessed it. Uh, yep. What 
what else happened to him? That's a lot of dashes. That is so... Look at his dick! Look at his dick! They fucked his dick so hard! What is... With this guy and the sexual violence? And that's so fucking gross for no reason! What's the fucking point? I'm like getting angry about it now. This isn't a bad idea. The whole photos like hidden in the body thing. It's just bogged down by the rest of this series. <laughs> These are the photos. Yep, 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 I got the formula. What we got? What we got? Okay, yep. Every fucking video, I'm so fucking tired of it. I'm so fucking bored. I'm gonna. I, there's no point in me. Did I miss anything? Anything crazy happened while I was looking at my phone? The most violent killers in American history. This is what was on the security camera. Again, full disclosure, I've seen this bit. I'll be honest. It takes a minute. I like this. Like, that was good. Like, that animation was really good. Right? Like, that was awesome. I loved... I loved the, the art style and the choppiness of it. It looked really fucking cool. Where was that for fucking five videos? That was bad. That was bad. Didn't like it. Did not like it. Like I said, um, good ideas, great ideas, just nothing fucking happened, I was so fucking bored, like, I don't, just nothing fucking happened, there's no story I can see, the police aren't doing shit for this, I don't even know who's making the fucking tapes, like, there's no point to it. Like, with the Mandela catalog, right? That's my favorite analog horror. 
from the jump, there's something happening. There's a story to be told. Right? With Local 58, same thing. From the jump, something's happening. There's gonna be a story. But this... It's just nothing. It's just, hey, this happened. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> There's no point to it. There's none. There is zero fucking anything in this. I don't like it. It's bad. It has great ideas. The art, um, even if I may not like all of it, it is obvious this dude is talented in his art. The music, which I was informed he makes himself, which I'm not 100% sure on that, but if he does, that's awesome. Um, the music does set the vibe, it's it's spooky, it's crazy. Um, I just, I, wasted potential is, is the thing I would, I would call this, it's wasted potential. There are good ideas here, but the constant need to shock the audience really bogs it down. It makes it not worth the watch. When you introduce... <laughs> when you introduce a horse on Viagra fucking a woman to death, you've lost all credibility. That's just... There's nothing to it. It's, it's, it's not good. I don't recommend you watch it. I think this is a great substitute. Bad. Anywho, if you like this video, uh, please subscribe. I'm gonna try and make more. I don't know if it will be in the same vein as this video, but, um, I don't know. I just kind of make whatever I want, whatever I feel like doing that day, and figure it out. Um, I do have a Patreon, uh, link below. If you want to give me money, I don't see why you would, but if you do, go ahead. Um, starts at a dollar. I'm sure you can spare a dollar. Sometimes I can't, but I get it. Uh, yeah, um, until next time, let me know your thoughts on Urban Spook. Let me know if you want to see me cover something next. Something good, something bad. I don't know. Anywho, I'll see you next time. Peace.